Just like you, I know that it's often a challenge to keep safety on the top of your leaders' and workers' minds and in their hearts. But with my weekly motivational video message delivered directly to each employee's phone via text messaging, I'll grab the attention of both your leaders and your workers. Each video is brief, unique, and to the point. No fluff, but a lot of great stuff. You can choose from customized motivational video messages for your company or industry, or standardized video messages by category, such as general industry, manufacturing, construction, or even healthcare. And you can choose to have your workers opt in from my website and enter their cell number and names, or we'll upload your groups from a simple spreadsheet that you provide to us. For tracking purposes, you'll also receive regular reports on video text messages sent and opened. I believe this is a great opportunity to advance safety performance in your organization and have a real impact on incidents, accidents, and injuries. Here's a few sample video messages for your review. Several years ago, during construction work on the Liberty Bridge in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a fire started during welding or cutting activities that nearly burned the bridge down. The fire should have never started. And that fire nearly resulted in a major collapse and catastrophe with workers, drivers, and passengers plunging to their deaths. Fortunately, nobody was seriously injured, which brings me to several major points. Make sure that you have fire extinguishers on hand. Ensure that they're fully charged and you have easy access to them within seconds, not minutes. Properly containerize flammable and combustible liquids. Protect flammable liquids and combustible materials from sparks, heat, or open flames. That means use a barrier or remove those materials from the source of heat, sparks, and flames, the source of ignition. Remove combustible and flammable materials and liquids by 10, 15, or 20 feet or more. Make sure everyone knows how to use them. Practice good fire protection habits. They're a must. And as always, ensure good housekeeping. Fire prevention and protection is no joke. Take it seriously. Your lives and the lives of others may depend on it. The power of praise and appreciation regarding safety will go a long way in developing a positive and powerful culture for safety, but also it will improve your ability to influence the attitudes and actions of your people. Remember, positive influence comes from your likability and trust, but can often start by showing appreciation for your workers' production and safety-related efforts. Showing appreciation and giving praise will make you a better leader and coach. It's hard to work safely every day, especially when production is being pushed or your workers are tired and challenged. Maybe they're working in poor conditions with extremes of hot and cold. Build them up. Don't break them down. Praise them with specific words about wearing important PPE or following safety procedures or completing a difficult task with safety performance being downright great. And remember, be yourself. Be genuine. Talk to your workers in a way that comes from your heart. Be yourself. Don't try to be someone else. Ladder safety is widely disregarded within the home and workplace. In the United States alone, more than 160,000 people are injured and hundreds die from ladder falls each year. Most of these deaths occur from heights of 10 feet or less. These injuries and deaths could easily be prevented by following basic ladder safety guidelines. Let me share a few thoughts with you about how you can keep yourself and others safe while using portable ladders. For one, check the ladder for visible defects before you use it and always mark broken or damaged ladders with a sign or a posting 
that states something like dangerous, do not use, or take it fully out of service, or possibly destroy it so it can't be used. Avoid placing ladders where other people may walk. If that's not entirely possible, use signs, barricades, or traffic cones to let others know that you're working there. Set up your ladder in a secure area. Don't climb on the ladder unless it's well stabilized. You may also need a co-worker to stand by and help to stabilize the ladder and keep others from getting too close. Always face the ladder when climbing up and down. And always make three points of contact with the ladder, with your hands and feet. Lastly, follow the weight limitations of your ladder and never carry objects or tools in your hands that could cause you to misstep or fall. Knowing and using these and other basic ladder safety practices and precautions will help keep you safe and decrease your risk of injury with the use of portable ladders.